Welcome back everybody. In this rotational system, we have uh, three pulleys or, des uh, or discs that are connected by belts as shown. Uh, the question is, what is the rotational uh, speed of the output pulley at D if the input pulley A is turning with a speed of 10 radians per second? We're also interested to know for every revolution that A makes, how many revolution D goes through. So let's consider some kinematics uh, formulas and see how we can deal with this situation. What I want to do is draw velocity, linear velocities of key points. So if I consider this point of pulley A, this point has a velocity I call it VA. VA can easily be written as RA times omega A but observe that this other point of the same belt whose length is constant has the same velocity. I call this VB. Since VA equals to VB uh, we can write the following VA equal to VB but VA equals to RA omega A and VB equals to RB omega B. Since I have both radii, I can easily find omega B, which is rigidly attached to disk C, having the same angular speed in a way it's like I found omega of C. So if I solve this equation for omega B, it is RA over or B times omega A and observe that this is the same as angular speed of C because B and C are rotating together so I call this omega C then I can calculate omega C to be R A which is 5 over R B which is 3 times omega A which is 10 so this gives me a rotational speed for um, disk both B and C. So omega B or omega C equals to 50 over 3, which is 16.67 radians per second. Observe that both radii are, the, are in the same units of centimeter. They cancel out, so 5 thirds is just the ratio. Since I have omega c, I can now find rotational speed of point c. So let's show that here as this linear vector vc. vc then can be found. Observe that vc has to be equal to vd. Therefore, if I found vc, it's like I found vd and that enables me to find omega of D. So let's calculate VC. VC equals to VD, which is RC, omega C. And we have omega C and RC, therefore we have, uh, let's say, this product, we're not really interested in calculating VD or VC, but observe that VD is nothing other than RD omega D. So if I'm interested in omega D, I can solve this equation for omega D, which is RC over RD times omega C. And that gives me... RC which is 6 centimeter divided by RD which is 2 times omega C. Plugging in the values, omega D turns out to be 2 times 16.67. Um, so 2 times 16.67. So I think I made a mistake. 6 divided by 2 is not 3. It's actually, it's not 2. It's actually 3. So let's write this 3 times. That was 50 
is or 16.67 so actually omega d is equal to 50 radians per second so then in the next step we are interested in finding rotational speed of I mean not rotational speed angular uh, rotation or how many times uh, disk D goes through how many revolutions it goes through recall that distance or displacement equals to speed times time so in rotational direction we can write theta a equals to omega a t and we have both so for theta a of one revolution which is 2 pi equals to omega which is 10 times time t this gives me a time of 2 pi over 10 or pi over 5 so this is the number of seconds during which disk A rotates once. Then during the same amount of time, disk D has a displacement of theta D, which is equal to omega D times T. So we just found omega D to be 50 radians per second times time of pi over 5 f, and this gives us 10 pi radians 10 pi radians or if I divide by 2 pi I have 5 revolutions so for every revolution of A this D rotates five times more.